Crocodiles, once considered primitive beasts lurking in the murky swamps of a prehistoric world, have undergone a dramatic transformation in modern times. Nowadays, they represent not just survival, but sophistication. Behind the luxury handbags worth tens of thousands of dollars and the gourmet dishes served in high-end restaurants lies a global industry that farms, processes and exports millions of crocodiles each year. Today we explore the complex world of crocodile farming, revealing how these ancient predators are raised, cared for and transformed into valuable products that fuel a multi-billion dollar market. The journey begins at modern crocodile farms, some as large as 100,000 square meters, where tens of thousands of crocodiles are raised under controlled conditions. These farms operate in more than 30 countries, including Thailand, South Africa, Australia, the United States, and China, with Thailand leading the commercial export market. At the heart of this high-risk industry is a meticulous system that ensures both productivity and safety. Crocodiles may be born in captivity, but their primal instincts remain fully intact, making their care and handling a delicate task that requires experience and precision. crocodile's life begins with an egg, not much larger than a chicken egg, and each egg is important. During the breeding season, which typically runs from April to August, female crocodiles are released into semi-natural nesting ponds surrounded by soft, dry sand. There, each mother lays between 20 and 80 eggs per clutch. Because female crocodiles are notoriously aggressive during nesting, farmers must act quickly to collect the eggs before the mothers detect the intrusion. Using speed, skill and courage, handlers collect the eggs within 24 hours and mark each one to maintain the egg's orientation and avoid damaging the embryo during transport. The collected eggs are then placed in an automated incubator set at 90-95% humidity and a temperature of 30 DC to 33 DC. Interestingly, the sex of the crocodiles is not determined by chromosomes, but by incubation temperature. Eggs incubated above 32 DSG produce mainly males, while those incubated below 30 DSG produce mainly females. After 75 to 90 days, the baby crocodiles emerge, chirping to announce their arrival. These young crocodiles are transferred to specialised nursery ponds with water circulation, heating systems and secure housing, where they begin the next stage of their lives.
Feeding baby crocodiles is a carefully managed process. They are fed a high protein diet of small fish, chicken and commercial feed, designed to boost their immune systems and support rapid growth. Feeding occurs once or twice a day to establish a circadian rhythm and reduce competitive aggression. It takes about two to three years for a crocodile to reach commercial size. An impressive feat given their complex biology. During the fattening period, feeding is reduced to two or three times a week, but each meal is optimised for meat and hide quality. Crocodiles are fed a strict ration of no more than 10% of their body weight, preventing obesity and digestive problems, which can affect the value of the product. Once the crocodiles reach the desired size, they are humanely harvested using electric stunning, a method now widely used to comply with animal welfare. The stunned crocodiles are quickly tied up, their snouts bound and their limbs immobilised before being transported to a specialised slaughterhouse. Here, the carotid artery is severed to allow rapid blood flow while the animal remains unconscious, a process that preserves both the quality of the hide and the meat. The skinning process is one of the most important. Crocodile skin is one of the most prized leathers in the world, with perfect specimens costing anywhere from $300 to over $10,000. The most popular method is to cut the belly, leaving the soft, wide scales that luxury brands like Hermes and Louis Vuitton favour for their handbags and accessories. Using ultra-sharp surgical blades, workers carefully remove the skin, ensuring there are no scratches or blemishes that would detract from the value of the skin. The tanning process lasts between 5 and 21 days and involves soaking the hides in chemical or enzyme baths, infusing them with tanning agents such as chromium or vegetable tannins, and drying them under strict conditions. Further manual inspections are performed to determine the high quality leathers suitable for the luxury market. They are then dyed in solid tones or artistic effects such as ombre, metallic or vintage finishes before being polished and coated. Final inspections ensure that only flawless hides make it onto the shelves of the world's most prestigious fashion houses. According to global trade data, the crocodile industry is worth more than $1 billion, $500 million, zero cents annually, with meat contributing about 20% of total revenue and skins making up the rest. Thailand, Zimbabwe and Australia are the top exporters. And newcomers such as Vietnam and Papua New Guinea are expanding operations to meet the demands of luxury brands. 
Regulators are now enforcing strict guidelines on animal welfare, hygiene and traceability, especially for farms supplying the EU and US markets. If you found this journey fascinating, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel and share your thoughts in the comments below. Which part of crocodile farming surprised you the most? Would you wear crocodile skin or try crocodile meat? Let us know and stay tuned for our next episode to discover more behind-the-scenes stories from the world of modern farming.